Hi everyone, I'm Emily. And I'm Lainey. And we are the Attic Birds, and we are here live at uh, Spring 2015 at Marburger Farms. And we've spent all morning uh, scouring the tents. Buying looking, your stuff, because you're not here. Looking for all the good deals and uh, rare finds, and uh, have really just had a good morning talking to uh, people from all over uh, about the things that they collect and what they find uh, interesting. So, I would like to introduce you to the owner and proprietor of the Commandant's Cottage. She sometimes vlogs for us under the moniker The Red Hen. And we are going to talk about these amazing bird prints. So, Emily, Lainey, let's talk about these prints. Um, these happen to be lithographs. So, what's interesting about these is that they were first stone lithographed or plate lithographed. That means that they were printed in black but then they were hand colored, uh, generally in a workshop of uh, people using watercolors to hand color prints. Uh, these actually come from Scotland and um, they're fine nature bird prints. Where were these, where were these originally um, found? Um, I found them in a book and the book's binding was broken. And because of that, I took the plates, but these were from a scientific journal uh, it, describing the birds and in their natural habitat. They're just, I mean, they're, they're gorgeous. Well, what's so nice about them is because they're hand colored uh, and done with a watercolor and have been preserved in the book, even though they're mid 19th century, the colors are still very bright on them. Yeah, they're great. They're beautiful. So I'm with Alan Hoops, and we are going to be talking about the importance and collectability of mercury. So, Alan, tell me kind of the difference. I'm noticing just straight off the bat, some of these are all silver, some of them are painted, and some of them are gold on the inside. Mm -hmm. um, it, mercury glass uh, became popular uh, mid 19th century, probably about 1850. Um, and the styles uh, initially oftentimes were um, the hand painted with uh, Victorian motif, um, floral. Uh, also, butterflies were popular birds, um, and they did plain silver mercury. Um, they also did mercury glass with a gold finish or gold interior. Um, is there a more collectability of one versus the other? Or is it all purely just what you like more? It's it's kind of everyone's own preference. Um, uh, some people only like the silver. Some people like the gold with the gold interior on the silver. Um, some people only collect etched mercury glass, which this is an etched, actually this is a white decorated, kind of an etched piece. Um, some people like undecorated. So it's, everyone has their own preference. If somebody's gonna buy mercury glass for the first time, is there a rule of thumb when purchasing, when you know you're getting real versus maybe a little bit later reproduction? Um, I. You know, I would say if you're unsure, buy it from a person you trust, a reputable dealer that will stand behind their merchandise. And I think the best rule of thumb is how good can I buy, okay. you know, for it. Cool. So. Well, thank you for your time, Alan. Really you're welcome. <laughs> There's some really great stuff out here. We've seen things from the 1600s, things from the 1400s, um, things from the 70s. I mean, it has been a fantastic array of eras lifestyles and lifetimes and um, a little bit of everything. Really cool stuff that we're really excited to uh, show you what we've got and bought on the blog and what we've seen and we can't wait to share all of that with you. So Emily and Lainey, um, let's talk about why... <laughs> I'm going to slap you. That's okay. So Emily... <laughs> okay, no, no, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm gonna throw her out. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Did you say that? <laughs> I would be crying. I'm done. I think I'll We're looking at each other. Still rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Bye. <laughs>